the question is simple and it is what is for in your experience the most important for the transformation of consciousness thinking of your life and your experience of what happened to you on what you learn from the life and from everything from the studies Wow, what in my experience is the most important thing for transformation of consciousness? All the experience you had that was transforming. And so you learned some important point, key point to, to share with others. Well, um just off the top of my head, this would be, you know, it'd be helpful to have a little time to prepare for this. Um, wow, but this is, this is the, the, the interview is in, in that way, the person just speak of what come out in the moment. Um, wow, the most important thing, the transformation of consciousness. Yes, over the years, there's been a lot of experiences that I've had where I have had some very strong transformation of consciousness. And some of them have been planned, some of them have just been spontaneous, or it, it was like something that happened to me and I had to deal with. And it wasn't um, anything that I was planning to do, it wasn't anything I was prepared to do, it was something that happened and fortunately I had the ability to work with it. The, and what I, I mean, to me, the transformation of consciousness has to do with seeing things in a whole new light, being in the world in a whole new way. It's changing the patterns that I've been using in the past in a more healthy and a more fuller, and a fuller and um, more inclusive way. The most important thing for transformation consciousness, I think, is two. There's two things. One is an openness to the possibilities that, yes, consciousness does exist. Yes, it can be transformed. And yes, as human beings, we have the capability to do that. It's important to have at least that bit of openness. You don't have to believe it. That's what I'm finding, you know, with my shamanic work. You don't necessarily have to believe in it. You just have to be open to the possibility. The other thing that's very important for transformation, I think, is integration. What do you do after the fact? Having an insight, having an experience that, you know, opens up your mind, expands your consciousness, changes you, won't last unless you take some time to integrate it. How do you bring that new insight, that new worldview, that new paradigm, and how do you integrate that with your everyday life? Because otherwise, it's just yet another experience. You do an experience after experience after experience. So to me, it seems like there's two things. One is the openness to allowing those opportunities we have that do come to us uh, in order to expand our consciousness and transform it but also taking the time, taking the effort to integrate it, um, to make that change lasting. Perfect. Yeah. This is exactly what I wanted to, <laughs> to say. <laughs> it is very interesting to see the biodiversity, you know? Any person look from one side, from a point of view, and this is what I do, I, I want to, Put together a puzzle of experiences. Oh, nice. see the whole picture of the transformation of consciousness. Yes, yes, because all of us see it, as you say, from a different perspective. And, you know, just without being preparation, you know, where it's not a lecture, then you get what comes first to each person. And everybody's going to have something different depending on where they are and what's going on and all that. So, okay, great.